Hello Virgo, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. And you can look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. We have here flexible. Now this is about making adjustments. So we might have to find compromises, we might have to move the goalposts slightly, but we now need to find solutions to the hiccups that are coming along. Because when we're flexible, it's about finding the easiest way forward to stay on track to achieving our goals here. And being flexible, if there's challenges come in, that's a 10. It will help put an end to the challenges. So finding middle road here, middle ground rather. We have passion. Now, this is our desires. Whatever we're passionate about, it could be goal setting. Like I say, there, there's always, even when we're going towards things we're passionate about, there's always challenges along the way. But if we're trying to achieve something here, we need to come and go here. Now, this could be any area of your life, what your desires are, what you're passionate about. It could be relationships, jobs, starting up businesses, whatever it may be. Oh, right, I'm going to take this one. Is it sitting up? Spirit Guide. So your spirit guides are always helping you. Spirits can't come in and support you unless you ask for their help. So spirits are around you. They want to guide and help you and support you through this time. Invite them in if there's challenges. Uh, they will give you the guidance you need. They're trying to connect in. See? They're trying to connect in here with you. So they will support you through this. Cha if there's challenges or hiccups, they will support you through this time. See what the tarot has got to say. If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist on my channel under your sign, and the, the readings there might resonate with you more. The Eight of Pentacles, the beautiful Empress energy, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the beautiful Central energy is the Balance card, which is what I was trying to say there, the Moon card. The world card, beautiful energy here. The tower moments and the five of cups. Now, what's happened here is there could be a tower moment. Now, this is different for everybody. You could be going through or went through it. It's something that's challenging, something that's unstable. Now, when we're talking about flexibility here, it could be that we need to let things go that are insecure. We need to find a middle ground here so we can bring greater stability into our lives here. And this is going to cause upset. There's no doubt about this. Now, tower moments or whatever your idea of tower moment is, this will be different, like I say, for everybody here. It can feel as if the, the rug's been pulled from under your feet. The universe has stepped in. It can come out the blue. It's all designed so you can go towards what you're passionate about. So anything insecure is going out your life. And always say after the tower moment comes the star card, which is new hope and rejuvenation. This is also here. Spirit's trying to connect in with you. So this could be spirit. The universe has stepped in here because they want you to start a brand new life cycle. A new chapter in your life is needing to end. So all anything in your life, um, it could be within your work life, your relationships, your finances or your environments. Any instability needs to go now. We need to end all that and we need to start a brand new chapter of life. And spirit is supporting you. They're wanting to connect in with you to let you know that there's better things out here. There's new chapters. It's time for new things here. So I know it's upsetting, but we need to let the upset go. Fives are change. This is all about change. It's about bringing in a new chapter of your life here. We can't do anything about what's happened. We can't change the past. We don't want to be you know, crying over these cups because we can't refill them. We want to be in the present here and looking at our blessings and be ready to go forward. So if there's tower moments here, you might have to be flexible. You might have to meet a comp find a compromise or you might have to find solutions to things to bring stability back into your life. So what we've got on this card here as well is it's about looking at the details of things now. Now, there's a fear factor. We can feel frightened of change here. There's no doubt about it. But what Spirit's saying here is you may go, don't be frightened of what's coming and don't fear the tower moment because things will start to be revealed to you as you go forward. There is reasons why this has happened and it's because there's something better out there for you. And the Spirit is also wanting you to go towards not just a new life chapter, but to invest in things that you're passionate about. Now, this could be anything. This could be investing in a new job. It could be developing your skills here. It could be financial projects that you could be excited about here. It could be new relationships that you're working on. Uh, new things you're learning. Whatever that is for you, 
This is about looking at the details now, investing in these things, getting your head down, looking at the details, getting a plan, being flexible, getting over all the little hiccups that come into life here and going with the flow and finding a way forward. And he's looking at the details. Now, you could have a skill set here and you might need a mentor to develop your skills, for example. You might be doing that. You might have financial situations that you might need advice on as well. But do whatever you need to do here. Uh, but get your head down and focus and do whatever's necessary to bring the stability back and bring the growth back. Because this is about finding greater balance. And we've got two cards of balance here. So investing in things you're passionate about here that are stable, that can bring great stability into your life. Focusing on that, letting the disappointments go from the past. Don't be frightened. Uh, to cut out people in situations that no longer serve you. This is about gaining clarity. You've learned from this tower moment that there's a new life chapter coming in or that's meant for you here. So go. you might have to take on this Queen of Swords energy, which is somebody who is coming from an intellectual place, not an emotional place. And like I say, don't be frightened to cut people in situations out of your life that no longer serve you. She's a very intellectual energy. She's looked at her tower moments. She's understood the disappointments now. She's understood what the tower moment was about and she's got the clarity she needs to go forward. Um, she's a no-nonsense energy. I'm saying she, it's not a gender-specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards here. Uh, and she knows exactly the path she wants to go down that she's passionate about now. She's learned and she's ready to do whatever it takes to go towards that. She's been flexible here. Now, this could be a divorce because this can be the single woman. I'm saying women, it's not a, gen, a single person, okay? So there's a new life chapter could be starting in that sense. So it could be single life that's appealing now. So your relationship has fell away. It's obviously disappointing, but this is because there's more stability ahead. A new chapter of your life needs to start. So it can be that for some people. She's somebody who takes no prisoners and nobody gets in her road towards going towards what she's passionate about here. And that's the important thing. And this brings great balance into her life. She brings the balance in because she's in environments that she's enjoying. She's working on things she enjoys. She's um, getting paid for her skills that are being recognised here. She's passionate about her work. She can bring in, uh, you know, wage rises and promotions. She's enjoying her relationships within her work environment. Everything's balancing out. And when you're in this beautiful balanced energy, the universe, you can only attract more of that, most definitely. And this beautiful balance comes in. Harmony will be restored. And it's only after times of challenges that this harmony can come back in. Because you've got to learn what's for you and what isn't. And you've got to learn what it is that you're passionate about here. And through this, uh, cutting people in situations out and accepting your tower moment, you're going to bring in a brand new chapter of your life here. Brand new chapter of your life. The tower moment was brought about by Spirit because they wanted to connect in with you to bring in better balance into your life and new beginnings. And this is about rebirth, rejuvenation. It's about, it could be the birth of a child as well coming in now. Um, it's doing what you need to do here to go towards your goals. And Spirit is supporting you to do it. So any new beginnings, rejuvenation, hope, rebirth of new things. You're going to find as if you're being born again. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be excited about what you're investing in because all this insecurity is away. And we'll just take a message here from Spirit here, the angels. We have got Archangel Uriel wants to speak today. Archangel Uriel, this is message to you. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is a union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. So you and spirit are reuniting here and it's going to bring great balance into your life. They've intervened. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon, Virgo. Bye bye now.